What up guys, we're Chef Vic and today what's for dinner is a nice delicious pan fried fish with a nice uh, lentil and pea sauce with a cauliflower rice. It's going to be very delicious, very delight, light for you guys so stay tuned on what's for dinner. Guess to start with, you want to get your green lentils, about a cup and a, cup and a half or so. Next up, you're going to add about three cups to that. And then you want to bring this to a boil. So this will get thick, so it might need more water. Just add more water if needed. And then to this, we're gonna add our uh, better than bouillon vegetable seasoning. To that, you're gonna add about roughly a tablespoon or so. This will season our lentils up very nicely. We're gonna let these cook, and then during the cook, about the half time of it, we're gonna add the peas. All right, guys. So you start the beautiful cauliflower rice. Heat a nice pan. A couple tablespoons of olive oil. And then you add green and red bell pepper. Shredded carrots, onion, and garlic. You're going to saute this up first to get it nice and soft. And then we add the cauliflower. Season it with salt. Fresh cracked pepper. Just going to add a couple of teaspoons or so of thyme. A little seasoning of sumac. Stir it up nicely. So we're going to add the cauliflower right. Basically get a cauliflower and uh, grate it up. But I'm going to use a frozen one. Try and give this vegetable some nice coloring. We're gonna pair well with our uh, fish. So, basically, the idea of this fish here, I'm gonna bread it on one side. So, we're gonna get a little egg wash. Brush it onto the fish on one side. The reason why I'm doing that, because then it acts like almost like the skin of the fish, but this the more crispier and stuff like that. A lot of people don't like the skin so the bread comes in to replace that. So then you know roll that firmly press the fish into the breadcrumbs and there we go. Take the other fish roll it into the breadcrumbs. Nice present. Now this breadcrumbs is 50-50 of panko and then uh, Italian breadcrumbs. Some nice texture for the fish. So let's start frying them up. Alright guys, we're going to add 
a couple tablespoons of butter onto the pan. Let this smell kind of foam up a little bit. Adding a little salt to my fish right now, to the breadcrumb. Alright. So we're going to lay the fish on the breadcrumb side down. The fish I'm using is called Maui Maui. It's a nice firm fish. And then we're going to season the top. Just like that. And lightly season it with a little bit of lemon pepper. Now what you're all looking for here is a nice golden brown crust. And then we're going to flip it over, cook it on the side. And then we're going to put it in the oven to finish cooking to completely cook through. So we're going to check for our golden brown crust. Oh yeah. Perfect. You want this color too because once you put it in the oven, it's going to get even more kind of darker. Perfect. So it kind of acts like you the skin. The same like the actual skin is just the bird thing. Alright, guys, so I'm going to place my fish on this rye rack. So we're cooking this three, 360 degrees Fahrenheit. Place it in and cook it for at least about 15 to 20 minutes to cook through. All right guys, I'm gonna add a couple tablespoons of butter to this lentils. And then I'm gonna puree them up. Sad news is guys, I do not have the nice delicious piece of this, but <clears throat> you guys can also add it. Just I'll put the measurements you should add to this point. But instead I'm just gonna not put it in because I didn't realize I don't have them. So I'm gonna blend this up to smooth. Alright guys, hope you guys enjoyed that awesome fish. <clears throat> Excuse me for my mess. I didn't mean to have that. <laughs> but I'm going to give this delicious fish a try. I really love making this type of thing. It's delicious. And... Oh yeah. It's light, it's flaky, it's meaty. All the good things for a good fish. I'm not a big seafood guy. Personally, but I like this kind of fish because it's more meaty and ain't too much of fishiness to it. Delicious flavors indeed. So I hope you guys like this video. And I hope you guys um, like this series too as well, what's for dinner and stuff. So this dish will guarantee to please your family and your loved ones, all that. So if you guys like this video, hit that like, lets me know to keep making these kind of videos. Hit that subscribe button if you're new here and you want to join Chef Vic's family. Hit that bell to notify you guys you for upcoming new exciting videos to come. So stay safe out there guys and I will see you guys next time.